What's going on everybody? Android Stud here and I want to do uh, a video on the Essential Phones camera app. Uh, someone requested to um, to do a video on the camera app to show the shutter speed. Um, I wanted to show the um, the camera app itself, the UI, which I don't really like. Um, also the Google camera works on this phone so you could take some good shots like lens blur, all those good things. So. As far as the camera app is concerned, they did send out an update last time and it improved the shutter speed. It improved the quality of the pictures. Um, low light still isn't there. I'm not going to try to BS you guys, let you know that it's as good as the, uh, as the Galaxy Note. But it, it, it's not. A Galaxy Note has a better camera and, and low light pictures. And it's not as good as the Pixel XL, the OG from last year. Um, this does better low light. But this camera does a good job taking pictures. Um, they did improve the app. So let's check it out. We're going to go here into the app. And the first thing I want you guys to notice is the UI. It's pretty plain. Um, as you can see, if you go to settings, the only thing you see here is turn off the shutter sound and store location. Whatever that is. I don't know what store you're going to go to or what. <clears throat> and then... You can turn your flash on and off here just by touching it. You can put it on auto. So I keep it off. And then the one thing I don't like is when you open up the camera app on the essential phone, the HDR is off. That should just be on. You should turn the HDR off, <laughs> you know, not on. So you got to turn it on every single time. Um, you could do HD video there. You know, you can go from HD to 60 frames per second to 4K. This does shoot 4K. It shoots 1080p and the rear camera 60 frames per second. And it does regular HD, um, which is probably 30 frames per second. Then you got the timer, you know, if you want to two seconds before you take a shot or 10 seconds. Um, and then you can do the, um, you know, the selfie camera. Boom. You see me? Ha <laughs> ha. See that fan. That's how I do it. You saw the studio party people. And then you could do auto. You could choose mono which is the black and white photo. You could do slow-mo for the video. Um, so, there, you know, there's a couple options, but I just, I don't, I'm not crazy about the camera app on this phone. It's just very vanilla, very plain. So I'm going to take some shots of some, some items I have here, just so you can see the shutter speed. I'm going to turn HDR on. Okay. And then let's grab this watch right here. My good old fossil watch. I like this phone tech at work. Don't hate. Yeah, it's been through the rigors. It's been through life, but it's it's my it's my it's the old reliable. I know what time it is. So uh, let's take a shot here. Now I put the shutter speed shutter sound on so you guys can hear it. So here we go. Little HDR. Boom. So as you can see, the shutter speed. Uh, and there's the photo. Let's get another item here. A little Bluetooth speaker of mine. Boom, little focus. Boom. There's your picture. Okay. Everybody talk about slow shutter speed on the essential phone. Here you go. Live and in, in color, baby. You got a little ball here. My dog likes to play with. Boom. Done. And these are all HDR. Let's get this little bigger photo. Take a picture of this plant. Focus in. Boom. Done. So as you can see, that's the speed of the shutter, man. Uh, there's the plant. There's your ball. Oh, they go back. The plant, the ball. You got the speaker there. Then you got the watch. All right. And just to do a comparison, I'm going to do the Google camera that's on here. Boom, right here. And let's get the watch one more time. Do the Google camera. That's already on, on HDR. So, boom. Google's done. There's a speaker again. Boom. Google's done. <laughs> Here goes the ball. Boom. Google's done. And then you got the little plant. It's kind of big for how I'm taping stuff here. So if you bear with me, I'm just going to take a little bit of the plant. Boom, it's done. So as you can see, man, um, 
takes good pictures here there you go and if you want to do the good thing about the Google camera man is if you want to do some shots of um, you know a little lens blur I guess you just go down to the lens blur get your item there that didn't work try it again boom yeah and then you do a little you got a little lens blur there I mean there's not much to lens blur because it's a white background but you get the you get the idea you could do lens blur on this essential phone with the um, Google camera app now as a comparison I got the sexy note 8 here just so you see the shutter speed here's the note 8 boom done so I think the note 8 a little faster Note 8 has a really good camera. So here we go again. Boom. There you see that. Good picture there. Um, and here's an example of the Google Pixel. Their, their camera's, you know, very good. Um, as you can see here. Boom. Done. That's pretty fast. I think that's the fastest of all three um, that I have here. So as you can see, man, the Essential Phone, it takes good, fast pictures. Um, not like everybody says on Twitter that it's not that fast. One, two, three. Put HDR back on. That's the only thing I don't like, man. You got to put the HDR back on. Boom. Done. There's your picture, man. Your picture's done. So that's it, man. Follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, man. I'll check you guys out a little later. I just wanted to do a um, video on the camera app of the Essential Phone. I know a lot of people are going to be getting it, but check me out. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.